Hey, this is Joe Crump. The purpose of this video is to explain how the monthly payments for the automarketer system works and how you're charged for phone minutes, scraped ads, and other services once you get inside the automarketer system. I'm doing this to help you avoid any billing surprises inside the system. Let's start with the monthly cost of the automarketer. Uh, as you see on the pricing page uh, on the sales uh, uh, website for the push button automarketer, uh, it's $199 a month for the system. Uh, you can also get a six-month version of the program uh, for $9.95, which means that you're only paying for five months and getting six months. Uh, this is our most popular plan because also when you get the six-month version, you get um, the, the, a free version, uh, not the free version, you get the full version of the push button method, uh, which is normally $997 by itself. Uh, you get that for free when you get the six-month version of the auto marketer. Uh, if you get the one-year plan, uh, you pay for nine months up front and you save, uh, you get three months for free. So you actually save about $600 on that. So it's a nice uh, program. So that's how the monthly uh, fee works. Now, once you've signed up, uh, you're going to be able to get inside your Automarketer account. And that's where I'm going to go next. This is the uh, on the account section in the billing section. Uh, and if you go into this, it shows you the costs of the other services inside the system. Uh, the first thing I want to show you, though, is if you ever need to suspend your account, you can hit suspend your account, and you can suspend it for up to three months without losing any of your data, and uh, we'll just put it on hold. You won't be able to access it. You won't have to pay for it, uh, and you can suspend it for up to three months. After that, we delete the account. Or if you come back on, you can all you have to do is start paying again, and uh, your system will be activated, and you'll be able to access all your leads and everything else that's in there. Uh, or you can just downright close your account, and that just deletes your account. Uh, when you do that. And actually, this doesn't actually uh, do these things automatically. It sends a note to one of my people and we do that manually uh, once you ask to suspend or close that account. Now, here are the costs of the services inside the Automarketer. As you know, the Automarketer uh, scrapes ads from uh, right now from Craigslist and from Zillow, uh, and uh, it takes those and sends out text messages or voice messages, uh, and uh, it uh, the system charges you for phone minutes, uh, for your phone numbers that you use, uh, and all of that. So for each phone number that you have, and you can have as many as you want, they cost $3 a piece per month. And you can buy more phone numbers by clicking this buy phone number, and you can buy a phone number with any area code uh, that's available in the system, which is almost every area code uh, in the country. Uh, also, uh, when, you're, uh, when you get a voice message uh, into the system, because they can call back to the, your leads can call back to these numbers, uh, it'll, uh, you can have it text you, uh, it can send you a voice to text uh, uh, email uh, with uh, the MP3 recording of the message that they're sending it. That way you never have to check your email again. Uh, but to have voice to text, it costs uh, five and a half cents per minute to have that transcribed. So uh, it's going to cost about five cents for every, um, uh, uh, every message that is emailed to you. Uh, it also can re keep recordings of everything that you uh, that you record on your phone system, uh, and it costs one third of one cent per minute uh, for recordings. So this isn't a very big expense, and it's nice to be able to keep track of all your uh, messages and calls and those types of things. Uh, also, your scraped leads they're going to cost eight cents uh, a piece. Uh, that everyone is scraped. You don't pay for duplicates. Uh, so even though even though Craigslist has a ton of duplicates that we have to process, uh, you don't have to pay for those duplicates. Uh, any inbound uh, phone calls that come into your system, when anyone calls into your system, they're going to pay. You're going to pay one and a half cents a minute uh, for any inbound phone calls. Uh, any outbound costs you two and a half cents uh, per minute to send out. And then for text messages, it costs two and a half cents uh, to receive and two and a half cents to send. So if you're doing a text blast. Uh, and you send out a hundred text messages. It's going to cost you, um, uh, you know, two and a half dollars to send out, uh, you know, a hundred messages. And then you're going to pay two and a half cents for every one that responds to you as well. Now, in order to be charged for these things, you're not going to be charged with the card that you used uh, when you set up uh, your accounts to start with. 
uh, these are these two systems are not connected so what you want to do is scroll down the page here and enter your credit card information that you want to be charged for these services uh, the other thing that the credit card that's going to be charged here it's also going to pay for any snail mail that you send so if you decide to start sending postcards or letters or or self mailers or those types of things uh, you can you'll pay them on the same uh, credit card this is an explanation of how these cards are charged essentially you're going to get twenty dollars of free credit every month so every month that you come into this uh, you're going to get twenty dollars of free credit towards phone minutes or anything else that you use in your system uh, that we pay for for you after you exceed that twenty dollars then it's going to either stop your system if you don't have a credit card number in here or uh, it's going to um, uh, it's going to charge your card and it's going to charge whatever amount that you tell it to put in. So you can put $20, $50, or $100 as your default. And that's a per day, day charge. It won't exceed that per day charge uh, in this particular system. Now, one of the things to keep in mind, and I make some notes in here, uh, and you might want to pause the video here and read this information because it'll help you understand how this works. I'm not going to read through it for you right now, but I just want to make sure you understand that uh, uh, Zillow uh, is has a lot fewer leads than Craigslist, uh, and uh, if you're using the Craigslist scraper over here, uh, then you're going to get more charges. Uh, the $20 a month that you're getting uh, will probably cover one medium-sized city on Zillow. Uh, if you do much more than that, uh, it's going to cost you more to cover that area, depending on the size of the area and how many phone numbers you use. So if you send out Craigslist or you send out a snail mail uh, campaign, uh, you will be charged uh, at, in the evening of the day that you send it out. Uh, in addition to whatever it is you use as your minimum fee here. This is all explained in this text right here, so I'm going to let you uh, read this if you're interested. So once you sign in, you're going to put your credit card information, you're going to save that information, and it's going to keep track of that information for you. Um, below that, there's information about how much you're spending per month, and this is the account that I'm using. I'm spending about $215 a month in extra charges uh, to my account. Uh, last month it was $244. I've got a credit balance of $7,800, which you won't have. <laughs> uh, I have that because I own the system, uh, and uh, we just put it at a high balance so that we wouldn't uh, uh, run out. And this is the uh, a number of um, things that were sent out uh, in the current month. So you can see we've sent out a lot of texts over this period of time. This is a lot more than just one city that we're sending to. So if you're sending to um, you know, multiple cities like we are, then you'll have a higher bill like we do. But if you're only sending to one city, say for example, Indianapolis has probably 200 uh, ads, 200 for sell by owners in Indianapolis on Zillow. Uh, so if you're using that, that's probably going to be uh, easy to cover in your you know, $20 per month uh, of free credits that you get. Also, if you scroll down below here, you'll see each transaction as it's being charged into the system uh, and the amount that's being charged into the system as that money is needed. So you'll be able to keep track of the charges uh, over time in the system. My warning to you is uh, that when you start using Craigslist, uh, there's going to be a lot more ads on there and you are paying per lead on those. So Make sure that uh, you know when you, if you get over the limit on how much you want to spend, just turn off uh, those campaigns if you don't want to spend any more money. Uh, and if you get into the snail mail system, if you send out a hundred uh, postcards, it's going to cost you close to a hundred dollars, a little under hundred dollars to send that out. So make sure uh, that you're ready to start uh, investing that type of money before you send that stuff out. Now, anybody that has sent out snail mail knows that it's, it can be an amazing source of leads. Your leads are going to be more expensive, probably between ten and thirty dollars uh, per lead that come in uh, is typically what we're seeing, and it could be a little bit higher, it could be a little bit lower than that. Um, so. Uh, but if you know how to convert these types of leads, uh, you'll be able to make a lot of money on these. If uh, you know, if you get, send out $100 in postcards and you get one deal out of it, uh, that's, or if you send out 500 and you get one deal, uh, it's still going to make you a lot of money, probably 10 times the amount uh, that it costs you to advertise for it. So it can be a wonderful uh, thing to do, but don't do it until you really understand how to 
uh, make these offers. And the best way to learn how to make these offers is uh, to start using Zillow and Craigslist uh, and then call everybody uh, that responds, even the people that say, no, I'm not interested. Call them all. One of the things I tell my mentor students is, uh, if you're going to be successful at this, it's going to probably take you three or four months before you make any money at all. Uh, and in that three or four months, the only way you're going to be successful is if you put in eight to ten hours a week on the phone, talking to sellers, making offers. And uh, whether you're talking to uh, people that have said no, whether you're talking to people that have said yes, or whether you're just going to Craigslist and Zillow and doing cold calls into those leads, those for sale by owner leads, uh, and uh, talking to those people that way. So you're going to need to have 15 or 20 phone calls a week. That's going to take you eight or ten hours if you're doing it properly and you're staying on the phone until they say no uh, five times and if they say yes you don't get off the phone until they say yes five times just by asking them additional questions so use the the, the teaching that I have in the tutorials that show you how to do this and to get good at it and expect to spend a little bit of money uh, on getting these leads in the process and uh, worst case scenario here is you get on and you make cold calls and you, you work it that way and then you keep track of your leads uh, through the system here. So I guess that's it. Be patient with the process. Give yourself time. Make sure you understand what you're spending so you don't put yourself into a bind or put your credit card into a bind. Uh, and um, you know, be careful with the process. And I wish you the best. Uh, and I know that this will work for you uh, if you'll do the work, if you'll put in the time. I've never had a mentor student uh, that uh, did the work that didn't make money. But I can also tell you, I can also tell you that of all the people that have gone through my mentor student, my mentor program, about 30% of them actually make money. Uh, and uh, uh, that's typically because life gets in the way. They don't do the work. They don't make the phone calls. Uh, and they don't go through the process the way that I teach it. And these tutorials here uh, will teach you how to do the Ferret method and walk you through that process. Uh, if you need my personal help, I'm happy to do that too, but you'd have to get into my mentor program uh, to do that. And uh, I'd be happy to discuss that with you as well. And you can get more information about the mentor program at zerodowninvesting.com. All right. I hope that helps. I wish you the best and uh, I look forward to hearing about your success in the future. Thank you.